Okay, welcome to uh, the presentation of Jantik Library Management System. Um, this is a very uh, simple and uh, straightforward approach uh, to a library management system. And um, it, it has various uh, custom layers and custom um, uh, modules which actually helps you to maintain your library. And you can uh, also, there are various open nodes in this software which can actually make the software enhanced to various levels of, um, um, you know, various uh, infinite levels of upgradations into the software. So, and various work processes can be implemented into this. Now, this is in our uh, web link, which is web3soft.org slash LMS, which is basically our, our demo link uh, for client view. Over here, um, I'm using a demo uh, user ID and password. Uh, username is library. The password is also library. And so let's go and have a look into the dashboard. So okay, this is the dashboard of our library management application. The dashboard uh, is uh, responsive, which is basically also feasible for mobile view. So in mobile view, this will open like this and it is also feasible for tab view in case if you want to keep this application uh, on a, on a, online then in that case it, it is very helpful for mobile view and tab view if you are keeping it in a local area network then uh, this is a browser based uh, application which can be accessed in a uh, private local area network as well so uh, the basic uh, backbone of this application is divided into three categories or three branches which is the library book manager, the borrower manager and the book transit manager. The library book manager actually tells you about uh, the how the books are maintained and uh, the way the books are maintained with the accession number which is further there is an enhancement tool for this application which is an ex external plugin which can be installed with this application. Uh, which uh, makes uh, library book manager uh, compatible with uh, scanning devices, biometric devices, RFID devices. On the other hand, this is the borrower manager which actually keeps a track of various categories of borrower. As of now, we have pre-generated few categories of borrowers which can be uh, added uh, based on uh, requirement to requirement. Uh, we'll show you in details there. So basically, it keeps track of all the borrowers uh, in the system. Uh, and this is a transit manager. This keeps a track on the status of the book, whether the book is issued or whether it is returned, whether it's available for reissue and something like that. Then there is a live overview statistics which uh, tells you the total number of books that you have in the application, the total issued books, the total number of members who are actually part of the system. And it also gives the idea of the operators who are actually working on the system with the current date facility. The above bar is basically the library uh, logo part. Then there is a refresh button which actually allows you to refresh without actually clicking the refresh button of your uh, computer that is control F5. Without clicking that you can just click this button and it will refresh the page for you. Uh, then uh, let, let's see how to refresh this. So it's pretty simple it happens because of uh, uh, the why this button is given it's very important because when there is lots of books in your system you may be required to refresh the uh, software uh, for more than one time uh, that's because to load so much of books at one shot it may take some time time based on the bandwidth of your server if it is online and if it is off offline then it loads immediately quickly then uh, there is the user panel wherein i have uh, the account if I click on the account part I will be able to see my account details like the name username password and uh, last login this is basically the administrator view so administrator can actually see all the users which are there in the application including the operators and the members so if I click on change I can actually change uh, my first name that let me just keep my first name Shantanu. my I don't have a middle name and I have a last name uh, username is library, password is library, let it be like that only. So I click on save changes and this actually uh, change uh, my name to Shantanu Goswami. So this is real time it has been done and it gives a success message as well. Now let's click on the operators and if I click on the operators then I will be able to see uh, three legends, three uh, imp 